sometimes you can't uh, download your footprints from maybe a favorite parts vendor or footprints vendor. So here we learn how to uh, download the footprint from mauser.com using some Maxis's footprint tool. In this video, you'll know how to download and use a footprint created by the Samaxis eCAD model software uh, that's on Mauser's website. Okay, so go and put in your part number, manufacturing part number or Mauser part number. And I'm using a bill of materials from a, a small project. If you're curious about this project, it is in my PCB design bootcamp. So ask about my bootcamp and you know, it, it is designed to take you from zero to junior level PCB designer in three to four months. All right. But you get the manufacturer part number. And also I'm using ORCAD 16.6. .6, but the principles here pretty much stay the same. Go ahead and paste your manufacturer part number into the search field in Mauser or whatever. And then choose PCB footprint and symbol. Then you download eCAD models. It will download a zip folder, which you would then unzip. And then let me just gonna remove some folders here. And this is your PCB symbols folder. Now let's do control new. And I'll go to my downloads folder where it's located. All right, click cut. Then I'll put this in my parts folder or parts downloaded folder. Right click paste. Now there is a readme file here that explains all the steps on how to, uh, how to import your library, you need to install the Samaxis uh, library creator software tool. It's not called library creator, but it's, it's something similar. So to get started, you would do component search engine, PCB libraries, download the library loader. That's what it's called. Okay, so I'm going to download this. I'll go skip ahead and download and install it. And they have a video that explains how to do that. Now go ahead, uh, double click your library loader that is in the folder called library loader. Choose next. It will install into your default folder. Click yes, get that installation going, and then wait, go through all the steps, and then it will be installed, then we'll pick up. Okay, great. Now that that software is installed, you want to configure it. Okay, so let's go to the start menu. And we have library loader here. Run Library Loader from the Windows Start menu. Already registered? Well, uh, you can click the Login tab. I'm already registered, so I'll put in my information. And the eCAD tool is ORCAD for this video. Settings will now be opened for your eCAD tool. So we're going to go into settings. It opened my settings. I'm using ORCAD 16.6 .6 in this video. Now load your first eCAD model by clicking on open eCAD model or search for parts. Okay. This will open the eCAD model that I downloaded. So let's, let's go to the folder that has the eCAD model. 
documents, parts downloaded, this one, open. Then you wait for it, and then it creates this file, and then an HTML, it tries to open an HTML, so I'm going to open it, and this is where it's supposed to be explaining some things about where to find my part and all of that stuff. Now it tells you and shows you which folders are supposed to be uh, looked for, how to import the schematic symbol and all of that, right? So if you run into any issues, you can look at this browser or this document that got pulled up in the web browser. But what we want to find is this CMD file. This should have been installed inside of the symbols library, the default symbols library. Let's check and see if it was. Let's local this or get or get light share PCB PCB underscore lib symbols. And let's see if it's actually in here. Unfortunately, no. So let's double check and see what could be the problem. All right. I found that the only problem was that I chose the wrong folder for my downloads folder. So what you do is just go to browse, set your downloads folder as the folder where you download your EPW files. That would have been under parts downloaded and the specific folder that I have. All right. So once you select that, then uh, you know, once you do open ECAD model, then select it, then it's going to generate your, your files and everything like that. So that's cool. Now, if we want to build the footprint, it's, it's something where we have to edit the software. If you're using, if you're using say ORCAD Lite like I am, you have to edit it. So instead of Allegro, I'm going to call this Allegro.exe backslash or, or dash orcad dash s. Control S to save that. Now when I double click to build the footprint, continue yes. It's great that it um, creates the pad automatically. But it can get stuck here. So you have to close it and then, or really set things up. And just to make sure we're doing the right thing. Okay, so that was supposed to be a service mount pin or pad right because when you check the pad that was created if it looks like a surface mount but it was supposed to be through hole then you have a problem and you might have missed it but it was just one small red line that barely looked like anything it looks like you have to click the x to let it continue doing what it needs to do now let's look at here the DRA was saved to disk. The symbol PSM was created. So let me see. Let me minimize this. Live. Okay. Let's highlight and see if anything shows up. No. Okay. Maybe this is it. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, the 3D view doesn't have like the the footprint, I mean the 3D model on it. But in this case, we can go and look for 3D models for our LED, do a step package mapping, and then map the CAD model onto the footprint. But in any case, the footprint has been created. Let's go to File, Save As. And I don't want to leave the footprint here alone. I'll just copy 
well, let's see. Let's uh, let's save this footprint in the default footprints folder. Yeah. Save. Now I have the name of the footprint. If I want, I can thicken the text, the line text, so you can go to setup, design parameters, text, setup text sizes. Set the, set it to whatever the units are supposed to be. So let's see here. We're in millimeter. Photo width should be at least 1.27. Oh, I see. I went three. Click OK. Click Apply. Click OK. Save. Now I'm going to close PCB Editor. And associate, and I'm going to associate this footprint name with the diode it's supposed to be associated with. If I check my spreadsheet for my design, it's D2 and D3. How do I find those? Just do a control F and you can look, you can type in D question mark, then it will pull up reference designators that are single digit dependent on how many well, that have the same number of digits as you do question marks. And you can look for D2. But that's the wire alias, so we're in nets. Let's check, let's check parts. Okay, so D2 and then D3 right next to each other. Great. Click on both of those with the control and then right click, edit properties. Then, Enter the appropriate PCB footprint name. Hit yes. Drag that down. Right click save. Yes. Right click close. Excellent. So that is how you would download and create a footprint using the Symaxis library loader tool that you can conveniently find on mauser.com.